beyond. Uh, and I like that it doesn't uh, come into this debate at all because it's you know it's got its own sort of lifestyle altogether and uh, a history of it's like unshakable man. It'll, it's a it'll be yeah. It's a guitar. Yeah, yeah. A guitar, yeah. a big fan of Townsend. He was saying that the days of writing music around guitars, I didn't know that. I've heard a lot of singers tell me, go, yeah, well, back in the day, I had to write my vocals to the guitar. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah I, again, just hearing what you guys do. And that's the thing in the blues, and you're such a Fender guy, you know, the guitar is still the jam. And then when they bring in the horns for the blues, you got the different levels of that. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Speaking of guitars, sure, yeah. tell me a little bit about enlighten me the Telecaster and the Fender and the Gibson, and all that stuff. How is the difference in that? Um, you know, honestly, man, I that's you know that's again that's such a great question, dude. It's uh, you know, I think it's uh, is it weight, the style, how it fits on your body? I always think of that because you know, like. The Who, he's what Townsend went through different types of guitars. He got the big one you know, when he was younger, you know. I mean, honestly, I, you know, to me, I uh, like, I, I keep it so simple, man. I mean, uh, you know, you, you see, everyone's always, you know, searching for these, this, uh, uh, this, this magical dawn that everyone's searching for, right? And, uh, and again, you know, going back to, like, I was, uh, to watching Buddy Guy's uh, rig, right? And it was just sweet, simple. That's it. Get up and play, man. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I think, uh, I mean, it's really cool that, you know, you have all these uh, sort of from musicians to engineers trying to develop these new products, these new guitars and so on and so forth, right? But it's, uh, honestly, my my setup is, is just, I think it was once I figured out that this is what my fingers are, telling me, right, that, you know, the strat neck or the telly neck, this is it. Um, this is your instrument, right? It becomes, I guess it becomes an appendage of your body, right? You just figure it out. And uh, and again, to me, I mean, I don't really get much into uh, that whole sort of debate about doing wood and, uh, you know, does it make a difference? Does it not make a difference? I mean, I've had many a laugh watching a lot of these videos and everyone's like, look, perfect dawn and blah blah I'm like just you know rather than spending time on all this stuff man uh, I'll just you know pick up a strat and just play it man <laughs> that's it you know I'd rather practice than uh, uh, than so, so my setup is really really simple man it's just a few pedals and uh, and that's it plug in and play man um, but you know again I guess it's just the uh, Inevitably, your fingers just tell you that this is this is it, man. This is mm-hmm. this is your guitar, and uh, that's that's pretty much where you know the, the love affair with the Strat and Telly began. And uh, you know, I have I have you know I, I love my Clapton Strat, I put a whole bunch of them, dude. But it's uh, um, you know just for a couple of songs, for example, uh, uh, I used. Uh, the standard Strat, which has these Fat 50 pickups, and, you know, they tend to be a little more fuller and warmer. Um, so, it's, you know, so yeah, of course, you have these nuanced sort of, uh, you know, quirks when it comes to particular songs. Um, and I like what Mike Campbell from Tom Petty said. He's like, look, you've got the canvas and your guitars are like your colors, right? Um, so you pick the right color for that, you know, that to add that sort of uh, artistic touch to it. But, uh um, but then when it comes down to it, I mean, uh, for this, for this record, I just used my Clapton Strat, uh, a couple of, uh, standard Strats. One has these Tex-Mex pickups and one has, uh, Fat 50s. And, uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, they just were doing the job so well. That's, uh, that's all I ended up using. I love that part of the musicians when I see them, you know, online or it shows what they're set up. With their rig, yeah, yeah, you know, you know that is their baby. I got some friends in Milwaukee, yeah. and it's just great. I can see what they have, and when I go see them live or play, yeah. you know, Eric, a friend of my Eric bass band, he's got a great. He's his site is about that. Now I don't know yeah. that, but I that's a jammer. Not everybody's jammer. I, I love anybody that can sing. I don't care if it's karaoke. Yeah. I don't care what you do. Hey, yeah. get up there and do it. If I could sing it, I would. You know, I wouldn't be on here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, but it's great to see that pride. And, uh, you know, I got a, another friend of mine, his, Rudy, man, his hand, he's a bass guy. It's, my mom's like, Rudy's hand is so strong and it's like the bass. It, it is permanently <laughs> bent, his fingers, yeah. you know. And in the love yeah. affair that you guys do, and it, and it's so great to hear all that fun stuff, man. Man, Izzy, it's just rocking. I'll tell you what. Let's get to a track, Tracy's Ballad. What do you got about that, too? This was actually written about my about my cat, by the way. Tracy's oh. my cat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just you know, she's she's like a perpetual fixture in my life. You know, so. So I figured I had to give it some sort of uh, credit for putting up with uh, with the noise every day. So yeah, yeah, this this one was literally written for my cat. I'm, I'm a big animal person, so uh, uh, yeah. Oh, God so, bless. Um, yes, we have them too, yeah. Vernon Shirley, and we had a dog that came to our house called Mindy. So there's yeah. a, the Vernon Shirley back in the day in the '70s. So you gotta love that but yes let's do it right now tracy's ballad for all the kitty cats out there thank you
like that. Ooh. I'm singing with you, bro. I know you can't hear. <laughs> Tracy's valid. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> oh, what a great time. You come on the Humagoo show. The jams are playing, but Humagoo's talking the whole time with my guest, Retta. Oh, all ones. Hundred oh eleven my my all ones on the time one 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 minutes wow what a great time one hour and eleven minutes bro thanks Izzy <laughs> hey glad to be here man oh my wow what a great conversation what great karma man what what do you got for us at the end here my friend we're gonna talk more we're talking about doing some collaboration with online radio with things that i do things are just starting in this world and friends like izzy come aboard enthusiasm you get me excited to do my show when i have great guests like you too my friend yeah it's been, it's been great coming on here man i mean uh We've spoken about so many things uh, behind the scenes as well, right? And there's so much to do now. I mean, uh, to, you know, once all this thing wears off, uh, it's, it's, you know, when we, you know, come out the other side, uh, a whole new world, uh, there's so much to do. And uh, I'm guessing uh, tech is really going to pick it up and uh, give us a whole bunch more things that we can collaborate with and uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how, how this, uh, what the next few months have in store, man. And, uh, I think it'd be great to collaborate on a bunch of different stuff, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, to me, it's been really, really, it's been really fun being on here. No. Uh, Thanks, bro. And again, we need to talk, I mean, mention, yes, what's really going on. I mean, I, two months ago, I didn't even want to talk on my show. I was like, oh my God, I can't have joy. Yeah, there's horrible things happening. We all, I mean, it is, it is, it is. I know that, but I, you know, I have to survive and live in the moment. And when I get on air with Izzy and all my friends, it, it builds up with the future and, and keep growing and learning because it's major tragedy. And I'm, I'm just blessed to talk to you. We don't know who's going to be next month or next year. I mean, that is the truth of yeah. what's happening, you know. Yeah, you can just, you know, hope everyone's safe out there, man. Stay safe and, uh, you know, just... Got to brace the storm out somehow, man. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, go write good tunes, people. Uh, let's get some music out there. Uh, it's it's therapeutic, man. Music's always therapeutic. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great release for me. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad. I mean, I got through a lot of this while recording on the ball, so that took up a lot of my time. Uh, you know, being indoors and you know, giving this record. Uh, a lot more attention uh, because well can't go out so so I was really sort of uh, focused on getting this record as as raw and gritty as possible and that was fun I mean uh, but yeah it's a you know uh, I don't know as long as this continues I guess I might go and record another EP or something man I don't know gotta keep busy right uh, we'll, we'll keep working together in many more ways <laughs> to get out the great tunes yeah. of Izzy's Caravan. And the brand new uh, tunes that you got coming out in June on the pull. Now that's going to be released. Michael Stoll for MTS Records. I imagine all that good stuff coming out. I have it here in in house too now here at the Humagoo. Yeah, yeah. And this this was uh, the first 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 preview we've had of this new EP. So thank you, thanks a lot, dude. Uh, you know, thanks for helping. I mean, it's great. I think it's really cool what you guys do as well, right? It's, uh, it's such a great platform for you know, for a musician like myself to come on here and, uh, you know, have a chance to showcase some of these songs. Uh, so, yeah, cheers to you, man. Oh, God bless, man. Sky's the limit, man. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to talk soon. We'll keep rapping. and.